Sir Geoffrey Cox, who was the Attorney General for Theresa May and Boris Johnson, has looked over the precipice and is echoing the sort of things that I've been saying for a good few months now, that the, um, the suggestions in the polls are that the Labour Party is certainly going to win the next general election, but that the Conservative Party could be so fractured that it will struggle to form a front bench on the opposition, and that would be bad for democracy, his words. And uh, a poll by a company called Servation has suggested that the Labour Party could achieve a majority as large as 190. I think that's highly unlikely. I think that would require a swing which we have never seen since uh, records began. Uh, that would require a, a swing bigger than the early part of the 20th century. And uh, Sir Geoffrey says that um, the suggestion that Labour might win a 200-seat majority effectively annihilates any credible opposition. Absolutely. He says it's a, uh, it, it would not be a sane and sensible thing to happen to this country. That's bad for democracy. But on our part, we need to show why we should be elected again, why our party stands for really important values and principles. Um, well, I think at the moment it doesn't stand for serious values or principles. It stands for self-service and self-satisfaction. It's an onanistic party. And uh, it, it's demonstrated rather well by the people who are parodying democracy by taking extra money from uh, GB News. And, and by those who, of course, are feeding the reform flame. But if they if they like reform so much, they should cross over to reform, make a clear divide between the far right or the hard right or whatever sort of right you want to call it. I call it a right that's wrong. And the, the, the bulk of the Conservative Party, which I believe is still in the centre ground, but is unable to voice it because Rishi Sunak has surrendered to the ERG and uh, the Tufnell Street people. Uh, who um, it does sound so much like Tufty the squirrel, doesn't it? I think that's probably how we should imagine it, with the with the cars lined up on on the road, growling if you don't say the right thing, or if you cross at the wrong point. Uh, he says that his own party, Sir Geoffrey says his own party. Um, the fault lies at the Conservative Party's door. If you are not making our case, if we're not making our case as well as we should be then we've got to make it better. I think actually what the Conservative Party needs to do is to go back to its roots and make um, a case for a conservative approach to government rather than this far-right obsessive uh, slogan-slinging, mud-slinging, um, demonising party that has genuinely embraced Mrs. May's moniker of the nasty party. It has genuinely become something that I, I, I have never recognised before. And I, I'm not suggesting for one minute that the Labour Party is a credible alternative. I think the Labour Party equally has jumped on the sloganising bandwagon. They're just different slogans. And we've got to re-engage with politics in our country and re-engage with proper debate. Without proper debate, there is no uh, future for parliamentary democracy. It's just an arena for tearing each other to pieces.